So this video was supposed to be a 7 star kid boo showcase, but instead it turned into a tutorial on how not to make a powerful opponent team. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the DS Asylum. I'm your order the Michi Shrine and today we are rocking 7 star kid boo, 7 star corrupted Zamasu, and a little bit of Jiren, a little bit of purple Zamasu, and uh, you'll understand what I meant by that in a second. So I decided since there were a few defensive equips and buffers for powerful opponent i would try and make a more defensively oriented powerful opponent team just to see how the, it would work and my god do zamasu and kid boo not appreciate it when you try to make them defensive <laughs> like jesus christ these two do not at all appreciate trying to be made defensive it's just like, alright, we'll take a few more hits, but in, in return, we will do fuck all damage. <laughs> I mean, my god. So, I'm gonna make a Kid Boo's 7-star showcase on the regen team. Instead, that'll be his dedicated 6-star showcase, and I'm gonna put him uh, with Legends Road Piccolo, probably, just so I can crack him out as best as possible, but... Jeez, man. This, <laughs> never never try to make a powerful opponent team. Don't do it. The reason why I did is because I had the um, the blue final form Frieza, the extreme one, uh, at enough star uh, enough stars for him to be doing double defense for powerful opponents. So I was like, okay, I've got him doing double defense. I've got Yellow Broly over here doing health. Uh, most of the characters have pr have access to pretty decent defensive equips. So I was like, okay. Let's do it. Let's let's go ahead and try and make a, def a more defensive, powerful opponent team. And it just did not work. The po defensive, powerful opponent sucks. It just straight sucks because most of them are just glass cannons. <laughs> like, Jiren was fine. Jiren doesn't care about, be about being more defensive. And neither does the Purple Zamasu. In fact, the Purple Zamasu prefers to be ta uh, tankier rather than, you know, doing a million damage these days. He's fairly old. But Kid Buu and Zamasu, the two heavy hitters of your team, the ones who you need to be doing a lot of damage. Yeah, they just they just didn't. Also, here's Kid Buu's LF, which was fun, but yikes. Uh, <laughs> defensive powerful opponent does not work. I tried it. I figured, why the hell not? Um, I'm sure there's some setups you can do to make it work. Uh, perhaps, you know, the Red Bojack here. Uh, he would probably be a better setup uh, for a more defensive, powerful opponent than Corrupted Zamasu would, obviously. But I don't fucking have Bojack, so... <laughs> I, I, I pulled the LF on that banner. I pulled Gohan. <laughs> I don't fucking have Bojack. So, uh, look, look, at the da look at the damage. Look at the fucking damage. Look at this A plus damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's only a four star Bojack. Oh God. And I mean, admittedly, right? On a, on a normal setup, that would have taken Zamasu to one HP. Like realistically, on a normal powerful opponent setup, that would have taken Zamasu probably to one HP or at least close to it. So, I mean, you can see that Zamasu's a bit tankier than he normally is. Like, Zamasu and Kid Buu definitely take more hits than, than they usually would. I mean, like, look, look, look at that. Look at, look at that strike card from Green Broly. From Green Broly. That's how much damage that did. I wasn't about to take the super, but, like, that strike card did almost nothing. And Kid Buu is not known for taking hits, especially when he's got type disadvantage. So, like, the whole defensive part worked right it, it wasn't terrible defensively the team did take more damage than it normally does but I, you sacrifice way too much offense trying to make a defensive powerful opponent team it's like with god key you can make god key super defensive because they've got vados there and the purple vegito to support everyone make it make everyone do more damage and of course corrupted zamasu's there being your heavy hitter to begin with. You can make a very defensive future team because most of most of the characters on the team are very are very good at hitting hard in the first place. They all have access to a lot of buffs, they can buff each other. 
whatnots. And again, Purple Vegito there to support. Like, uh, let's see, Saiyans. I actually have, and I also, I love that, I, I just looked down and saw that. I love that goddamn uh, forfeit screen, fucking Zamazu's face. Uh, you can make an ultra defensive Saiyan team. I actually have a preset ready for a, a mega defensive Saiyan team that has no offense at all. No offenses in the equips, no offenses in the Z abilities, only double defense or health in all the equipment and Z abilities. With the exception of Shallot's equipment, because I ran out of fucking uh, equipment for him, but I probably won't bring Shallot. He's just there because he buffs Saiyan base health. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously I'm waiting for my uh, LF Super Saiyan 3 Goku to get to Zenkai 7. He's at Zenkai 6 right now. So, once he gets to Zenkai 7, I will do that. I may also Z power the Angel Vegeta up to 7 stars. He's at 6. So I might do that and then we'll go ahead and do that video, maybe, if I feel up to it. I have a lot of grinding to do. If I, if I actually want to place in PvP and have crystals ready for, you know, whatever I end up doing with this account later on, I'm going to have to start playing PvP because I didn't play at all last season. And because of that, I dropped down to battle rank 30 at the beginning of this season. So I have a lot of grinding to do <laughs> if, if I actually want to, you know, place and grind up some crystals uh, for whatever I intend on doing. Just because I'm not playing the game as much doesn't mean I don't, I, I just want to not have anything, right? I'm grinding the raid. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about the raid in another video. I'm going to be doing a full breakdown, or not breakdown, but review of the update uh, fairly soon. It should be tomorrow. Or the next day, it depends on whether or not I want to continue the PvP grind. You're going to notice that there's going to be more PvP videos because I at least want to get to rank 40 so I can get the Z power. I may not be placing in PvP, but I at the very least want to get to battle rank 40 for the, uh, the multi Z power. And I'm going to have to be doing a lot of PvP this season because I dropped down in rank. So, who told you? <laughs> who told you to rise and rush me? Me, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll probably do, do let, I'll, I'll ask you guys, do you want me to do Kid Buu's 7 star showcase without any support? Because if that's the case, then I'll just keep him on the powerful opponent team and build the team properly this time instead of trying to make it defensive. But if you guys don't mind his 7 star showcase with some support, then I will put him on regen with the Legends Road Piccolo and the Green 21. I do not like using Zenkai Buu on regen. I think Zenkai Buu is what makes regen an annoying team. So I, I actually think a more offensively based regen team is completely fine. I don't mind fighting that at all. Uh, so I, w I don't really have much of an issue using it. And I think that green 21 is severely underrated and always was severely underrated. So and especially with Legends Road Piccolo buffs, my god, she does too much damage. So we'll, we'll try that setup if you guys are okay with the support. If you guys would rather see how good he is at 7 stars without any support, then we'll just keep him on a powerful opponent team because obviously I'm not using Turles on the team anymore, so there's no support happening here. But yeah, I mean, you, you can see why you probably shouldn't. I mean, like, we lived that though. We lived that though. Kid Boo does not live super attacks from green units. He just doesn't. Yeah, that did a lot of damage, but I mean, he lived it. So, I mean, like, the defense, the defense is there, right? At least I did something right. The defense is there. We just have no fucking offense. <laughs> we, we've got, we've got no form of offensive power here. Because Kid Buu can usually take out Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta with little issue. But this one was, yikes. Not exactly sure how that works. I don't know how he got his Vanish back as fast as I did. Like, I had increased Vanish recovery, I think, or even if I didn't, he should have had less Vanish than me. I don't know how he got his Vanish back just as fast, but what? Um, we're about to hit this legendary finish with Zamasu here, so hope you all enjoyed, and uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Or actually, later today. Peace. Kuramesu! <laughs> Oh, oh. Ah! Madame Andrea!